everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, so, recently, as you can see, I got scriptware. Now, why did I do this? I don't even know. But, uh, it's actually just, uh, you, I think y'all are gonna love this. So, for people who don't know, scriptware is an executor like Synapse, blah, blah, blah. But, it has a lot more special features, um, and I'm gonna be kind of giving, like, a review on it since... It, it's really pretty it, it's pretty dang special so uh first off i wanted to show my favorite first thing about it and out of everything in this whole little executor it would probably have to be folder grouping on the script list you don't even know how much i love this feature i all for synapse i had to label all my scripts like this like as you can see quality hubs all that stuff uh, but like I had to like do all that stuff and now it's uh, so much better when all you have to do is just like oh I want to do that no uh, I want to do this no uh, and like it's so much nicer to find stuff oh yeah not even mentioning the fact you can do this so say you don't even like the executor ha huh? only scripts was an answer yeah but uh, there's a lot of cool things just about the one part and that's the script list uh, but yeah no there's a lot more you can do with this. Okay, so there's a ton of settings in scriptware, uh, as you can see, a lot better than Synapse, I'm, in my opinion, since you can just do a lot more, like, uh, there's topmost, uh, so if you don't want it to be topmost, and, like, all that stuff that's really useful, you can add an attach button, usually when you click execute, it just attaches, but there's also auto-attach and all this stuff, and you can even, uh, I, I will talk about these little parts, but you can make it go to whichever part you want first, and then, yeah, there's a ton of cool stuff. But yeah, uh, this hide script list, I, I like that, because say you don't like your scripts list at all, you can just do that. This, you can even modify it, like, there's just so many nice customizations. Uh, by the way, I tested this in this uh, little fencing clone. I really don't know what magic hacks does, but uh, I guess we'll try it in, like, prison life or something. And then, I'm not crazy about the editor, no. I'll talk about why, but I'm happy they have different syntax highlightings, uh, kind of like Synapse. Oh yeah, and you can make it like red glow color here, so as you can see, there you go, it's red now, but yeah, that's just something cool you can do. Now, there are a few other settings that I'll show you before I talk about stuff I don't like and then switch to more stuff I actually like, but, uh, there's some cool stuff with, like, execution settings, like, safe mode, all that stuff, and, uh, I'll probably turn off, uh, oh, wait, actually, safe mode actually stops, uh, some, like, uh, IPs and stuff from getting leaked, and also, like, this stops, like, a ton of stuff, there's some things that you'd want to keep on in here, like, safe mode and stuff, so I'm happy they have that, and then also, uh, show scri uh, script errors and output, uh, they actually have a little thing right here that I'll show you. I think it might be that one, but yeah, uh, I'll show you what that does. So yeah, and then internal interface. Internal interface looks terrible, by the way. So I wouldn't use it. But anyways, so here's a little uh, thing. It's the little scriptware output. I love this little window because it looks way cleaner than whatever the heck this is. But you know, anyways, the window looks really nice. I like it. Uh, yeah, no, this is a little output you can use. And I think if you turn off the little show uh, errors in the GUI it will go to here but yeah whatever all right so now something I really don't like this editor is not really a good editor to be honest as you can see there is syntax highlighting so if I do like if then do not uh, else if print wait and then like as you can see there's some syntax highlighting so that's nice but you'll notice like I can't like like script dot parent dot mouse button one click there's no like little like pop-up window saying which is what and i would really love if it could use either ace or monaco preferably monaco monaco is way better than ace in a ton of different departments but uh it's kind of sad to see that you really can't do like anything with this little editor it's I mean you can do and there's some useful functions like if actually I'll do local wow equals true and then if wow equal equals true then and then it has like a little like this that's nice but at the same time like I would just really like it if they could had if they could have added Monaco or like ace or just something that had like a little like I, I just like more advanced editors but yeah uh older editor but still pretty nice i wouldn't say it's bad i like the little tab thing but yeah and then uh a really cool feature is this little script hub thing so 
you can go to their website and like favorite scripts and then you can execute them here so say i want to execute dex v5 that's actually just dex v4 uh well actually i don't know i think that's actually like dex v3 anyways uh it, it's actually just dex but it is made for scriptware so that's kind of nice but yeah no it's just it, it's dex man what, what do you expect so then uh better graphics i don't know why i still have this favorite it's actually really bad uh yeah remove script basically it just makes your game look even worse <laughs> uh but there's some really cool things in here you know that i favorite it infinity yield of course uh even though it's in my auto execute but yeah really cool little thing they have a little home page that tells you like updates and stuff i like this they also have this little bar and i like that and there's a lot of cool things about it they also have this uh and it's a save game window that's something i think more executors should have there. it's kind of cool and then also uh i really like the kill roblox button because you know it's just nice oh yeah and uh that's not the button this one yeah so i don't use this at all i don't think a lot of people use this but you can like friend people uh, you can do whatever, so, yeah, if, if you're into, like, friends, you can do that, but, I, I mean, I'm not really gonna use that. But, yeah, uh, that's just the executor by itself, but, uh, talking about, like, uh, power and stuff, and, like, how much it can execute, I've only had two problems with this, out of, like, the whole week of usage, well, not week of usage, after, like, probably two or three days of usage, I've only had two errors, and they were really minimal, and, like, not even bad, uh, first off, if you type in console here, it won't load the old console. It, it just won't, sadly. And it's probably because the old console uses some sort of uh, snaps function. And in that case, then, you know, whatever. But, yeah. But, uh, it, it works pretty dang well. Uh, also, uh, I had a problem with this hub. Uh, let me see what it's called. Oh, yeah. Dark hub. So... Dark Hub, there's a little problem with it when you load it up, and uh, this might only work in some games that have players because I'm in a private server right now. But uh, if I turn on box and name ASP, it will sometimes crash me. Uh, it's just a little annoyance, but whatever. Uh, I was playing Prison Life with that. <laughs> but yeah, no, very small, minimal problems that you could always like use a different script and it would work probably fine. And yeah, I know, very, there's nothing really like nothing that's happened, and I'm like that kills my game or anything like that no all this stuff has worked pretty well and by the way uh this i didn't get paid for this but uh i, I freaking love this add-on it gives you like a bunch a bunch of cool things uh, i don't know why there's so many like nsfw add-ons but anyways it's like an infinite yield add-on thing that has a ton of add-ons that are actually really nice so say i wanted to like shift to sprint because i saw that was there shift to sprint and then as you can see now I'm sprinting once I turn off the shift lock. But yeah, really cool little plugins. Uh, you got like Orbit and all that kind of cool stuff. So yeah, no, a lot of cool things you can do. Oh yeah, you can also do Beyblade with this plugin if you uh, install it. <laughs> kind of funny. But yeah, uh, a lot of cool little uh, things with scriptware. As you can see, Dark Hub works fine. Uh, I'll try PSY Hub. Yep. What do you know? Works fine. Uh, even, uh, Owl Hub works fine, even though it's unsupported anymore, so. And, actually, yeah, what do you know? Oh, <laughs> there's Drag Chat, I have that in my auto-execute too, but yeah. Uh, but, there's a lot of cool things, and everything basically just straight up works. Like, there's not one thing that just hasn't worked at all. Like, it 100% works, so, yeah. Pretty nice, I guess. Okay, so now uh, let's move into a game like Prison Life or something like that. Uh, those games are pretty fine and dandy, so I guess we'll try one of those. Alright, so as you can see, we are in uh, Prison Life right now. Uh, pretty normal game, I guess. But uh, let's just say we want to execute like Effie Flip or something like that. As you can see, works fine, perfectly. Uh, oh, hi, boo. Oh, just killed me. Wow. It's real fun. Anyways, you get the point. Uh... <laughs> I mean, it works pretty dang well. Uh, let's say we want to execute, like, uh, Dark Cub, because, you know, I want some some good old aimbot, even though Owl Hub has way better aimbot. Uh, let's just say, turn this on, show off a V, let's see. Ooh. Can we lock on to a person? Uh, oh, shoot. Sorry, let me just move that. Let's see. Oh, what do you know? Uh, Dark Cub sucks. Okay. 
What do you know? It actually works, kinda. It, it, I don't. I wouldn't use Dark Cup aimbot. This stuff actually sucks, but you get the point. Uh, everything really works. This sometimes crashes my game. I don't even know why yet, as you can see, crashed. But I mean, that's the only problem I've really had with this whole entire script. If the only problem I've had with the script is it crashing when I execute one thing in one script, then there really isn't a problem with this executor. Like, I actually really like it. And compared to boring Synapse, that I'm sorry, Synapse, you're good and all, but you're boring, there's a lot of really cool things you can do with this. So, yeah, uh, I really don't know what else to showcase. I mean, like, I I'll even show you, like, let's say we want to execute, like, Nowhere Hub uh, V2, or, like, something like that. Uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this, like, Every, it's basically it's synapse but a tiny bit less support and it's not boring so you know a lot of cool things you can do uh, if you want a really good executor that you can just do a lot with you know just <laughs> do some caramel dancing yeah no, you can do a lot with this so uh, yeah let me execute if you flip again cuz you know promo but yeah Cool little things you can do. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. It's like mini review, I guess, on scriptware since, you know, it's a pretty dang good executor. Uh, you know, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, that's scriptware for y'all.